Hey folks, Jay-Z at Avis Ford here. Today, I want to explain differences between truck axles. A regular axle, a limited slip axle, and a locking axle, okay? So, to try to make this as easy as can, I'm going to use, you know, to pretend these highlighters are axles. A left axle and a right axle in a truck in this case, okay? A regular axle would have no hard connection between the two, so one wheel can spin freely of the other wheel, okay? So, you know, you see a truck in snow just spinning one tire, that's a regular axle. A limited slip axle adds clutch packs between those to limit how much slip there can be, how much difference in rotation between the two. Positive of this system, it works 100% of the time, okay? But it w and it will allow one side to rotate differently than the other, but only so much so you can drive with it full time. Now, a locking axle is the equivalent of locking the two sides together so that one spins at the same speed as the other. This is your heaviest duty application. This is serious off-road, boat up a trailer. The downside to this system, you can't drive on this system on dry pavement. You can't use this all the time because it won't allow you to turn because both axles have to spin at the same time. So recap that. Regular axle means each wheel is independent of each other. Limited slip axle means it can only turn so much differently of each other. Locking axle means the two sides are physically locked together. So those are in order of lightest duty to heaviest duty. Regular axle, limited slip, locking axle. Any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks.